Hey guys, Joe Latender here. I'm going to talk to you about life in the city with chickens. Now, I don't live in a huge city like New York or Chicago, but I live in a decent sized city up in northern Minnesota. One where you would think they would not allow chickens. Well, anyway, they do, and they just passed this ordinance right before I moved in, and we were really blessed because we just got chickens and then we moved. And we were worried that we weren't going to be able to have the chickens. Matter of fact, we kept them at our daughter's for a few months because we didn't even know and then my wife found out that we could have chickens you just can't have roosters so we could have six chickens no roosters which is a good thing because they're always cock a doodle doo and the other thing is is roosters are really aggressive like this rooster would go after my wife and kids when they go in the pen or in the coop in the coop and chase them down and they just would it got to the point where they wouldn't even go in there and if you have two roosters whoa talk about really aggressive them fighting and things like that they come they will attack you they'll put their claws into you i've gotten i've gotten hit by my rooster before we got rid of him well now he's no longer anyway be sure to go and check out with your city if you can get chickens but i want to show you now what life is like with chickens all right so this is my chicken coop now i bought this as a chicken coop so and then i put these boards on there to protect them from the winter no i, I i'm a i'm a renter i rent this house and i have some really great landlords probably the best you could ever have that said yes we could have chickens and so that was a huge blessing and at first i went with just this now we have five chickens and they can all really fit in there but it's really small um so when we first started out they were always trapped in there unless we let them out to roam so that they could run around the yard and you know do what chickens do but after after a few months my wife asked if we could do something like this and so what i did is i made this very temporary so that when we do move it's it didn't damage many things and i was able to you know just build the coop without having any um permanentness to it so it all is kind of based off of being temporary now at first i didn't put this roof in i used to have six chickens guys i lost one to a hawk so it came down got one of my chickens and so since then i put this on here now as all i did was i just overlapped the stuff isn't even a, you know you can see what i did here I started over there and worked my way this way and just kept overlapping it a little bit. Now, along the edge here, I just put a few staples in here and there. And what I used was this electric tacker. Now, this is something that you could rent from a rental store. This is something I use when I do carpet. So I do upholstery work with carpet. And we use these kinds of staples. It's about that long. I'm not gonna shoot any, but you can see how precise you can be. If I just pulled the trigger now, then it would leave a staple perfectly in there. So really works well so i have a few staple marks i have to get rid of when we are all done here so in one spot i did have to screw a two by four in here and then i had to put a couple screws in down there but that was it so when we're all done we could patch those in they have extra paint we'll be able to take care of that um you can see here i just built this door and then i used some nice fencing here for the outside of it instead of just the cheap chicken wire I will tell you though, this is a little bit too big. The rabbits can actually fit through this, which is fine by me. A rabbit can come in here and eat some of the chicken food. You see right here, I have a little trough that we use for our food. I've got this kind of a water dish here is what I use. Now I like this, it just constantly fills up, get it up to there with water. And then in the winter, I have a little round thing that this sits on to keep it heated for the chickens. It's just weird how chickens drink. I don't know how the heck they get any water, but somehow they get it in their beak and then they lift their heads back. So you can see here, guys, is all I did was I just used some treated two by fours here and I just, I didn't sink really anything in the ground. It's not super sturdy, but it's held up for two years now. Pretty good, I just, and then I put a couple of two by four, I put a two by four here on the bottom and, or on the top and on the bottom. And then I nailed this fencing with staples um fencing staples the kind that you have to hammer in with a hammer and i just got a little creative here and just shoved a couple of a pole through here and then a little two by two and they perch on this all the time 
Now chickens are really easy to take care of. They're very friendly. We have, I don't, I'm not sure what my black ones are. The two lighter ones are Americanas. Those ones are really friendly. They lay light blue eggs and the other ones lay tan eggs. Is that what color they are? Brown eggs, brown eggs. I don't know, I'm a little colorblind, so. Yes. Anyway, they're very friendly. They're wondering what's going on in their coop right now. They're not used to Amber, my daughter, who's running the camera here. They're wondering, what the heck are you guys doing in my coop? But I just lay straw down on the ground for them, and then I'll come by and clean this up. In the winter, it does kind of get built up because I keep adding straw after every snowfall, after I shovel it, then I'll put fresh on there for them. So we probably get about that much straw by the end of the winter compacts gets pretty nasty so once a year i give this a really good cleaning and then throughout the rest like through the summer here i'll change the straw out a couple of times but other than that they're really good really easy to maintain very friendly with the kids the kids come out and play i let them run around the yard watch them every now and then but i kind of had to stop doing that because they took off across the street a couple different times into the neighbor's yard and well, I was in a panic attack trying to figure out where the heck they were, and we found them. Hi, Hi. see Hope lost some toes this winter. She got sick. And she got frozen down on the ground to the water dish on a 30 below zero day. But we brought her in the house and nursed her back to life. It doesn't take long when it's 30 below for something to happen to a chicken. Okay, I want to talk to you about chicken eggs here a little bit. Now these are some chicken eggs that I've gotten over the last few days. Now we haven't refrigerated these. Now chicken eggs can be stored at room temperature for several days, even several weeks if you don't wash them. Now these have not been washed. Now sometimes if you get a chicken that is a little bit messier, I mean you can get these to be pretty nasty where you want to wash them right away. Now one of the other things I want to show you too is not all chicken eggs come out perfect. Now you'll never see this at the grocery store, I'm sure it happens, but this is a situation where one of my chickens has a little bit more calcium going out of them than normal, so it really has a few like build-up spots on here. It's still a very good edible egg, we still eat those. Um, you can kind of see that we have a bunch of different colors here. I don't know if that one's got a little crack, so we'll use that one right away. But even this one has a little bit of deposits on it. But they are really nice, beautiful looking eggs. We get three to five eggs a day, like I told you. A lot of times we get five a day. It depends on what time of the year it is. But I want to show you this. So this is a brown egg, I guess. I don't know. I'm a little colorblind. But you can see we get a really nice, rich yolk out of these. I've noticed that the yolk in these are always bigger than the store-bought ones. And that they're always a little darker, a lot of richer. And they're very delicious. And you can see here the inside of the shell. Even though it's dark on the outside, it's light on the inside. Now, I don't know, maybe you can tell the difference here. Apparently, our Americanas lay light blue eggs. I'm guessing this is one of those light blue ones. I don't know. You'd have to tell me. My wife's not here to point it out. I can just tell it's a different color than this. But um, we don't have any white egg laying chickens. All of ours are... Oh, there's another cracked one. All of ours are uh, pretty much... Um, tan or light blue, I guess, is what they're saying it is. Now, I will tell you, after chickens start laying eggs for the very first time, when they first start laying, the eggs aren't pretty. I mean, I've had them where the shell was so soft that you could just squeeze it. It was like, it wasn't hard at all. And after a few times of them laying, their eggs start to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And these eggs are actually finally beginning to get pretty strong after... A year or two with having my chickens the shells are really really durable now even after the winter when they don't lay for a certain time when the or the beginning of the winter when their feathers are gone and they start laying again even though even though it was already laying really nice eggs they can still be brittle shells or come out a little goofy at first when they start laying eggs but it doesn't take long for them to become a nice beautiful big egg
So as far as water goes, I try to give them fresh water every day. They don't go through a whole thing of water. It probably lasts a couple of days, especially in the summer. Winter, it lasts a little bit longer. But to be honest, chickens really do drink a lot of water in the winter. But I just use pellets. These are, they like them. And then we feed them a bunch of scraps, like extra leftover stuff that we'll feed them from what we ate from dinner. Of course, the healthier stuff, I don't want to feed them a bunch of garbage, but they eat just about anything. And uh, they really get excited when you come to them. They know that you're coming for some leftovers. The thing that my chickens love the most, dried mealworms. They can be anywhere in the yard and I'll shake this bag and they come a running. So if I'm looking for them and I don't know where they're at, I shake the bag of worms. Anyway, I just give them a couple handfuls a day, just spread it around for them to be able to search for them for an hour or two and that's it. But these are like chocolate to us, I think. That's what they treat this like, dried mealworms. So something that happens every now and then if you don't get the eggs right away and they start getting too many in there, they kind of get like territorial a little bit and they'll break open an egg and then they'll all feast on it and eat it. My chickens are just freaking out because they took the sides off on them. So they're like curious, what's going on? And I'm going to leave the panels on the doors. But everything else I took off. So you can see now it's nice and wide open for them this summer while it's warm. So now they'll just come up and roost here at night. So this is where they hang out. So they'll still have protection of the roof, but there'll still be good airflow coming through here. What's the matter, girls? Whole new world in here now, isn't it? I got Hope in there getting ready to lay an egg. She's kind of freaking out. She got off because I didn't have the door all the way locked. And uh, I just spent 10 minutes trying to catch her. So, you know, like I said, I let my chickens run around, but I just fertilized a bunch because I'm doing some videos on different grass seeds. Some See what works the greatest, guys. And I can't let my chickens run around and eat that stuff. So it's going to be a few weeks before they can get back out. So my chickens really like these pellets. I spread them around on the ground too so that they can dig for it. You've seen a little bit ago how one of them was clawing on the ground. They like to claw the hay away and then they'll look for food. So I'll sprinkle food throughout the straw and hay. Now I don't just give them straw, I mix in some alfalfa hay with it. They really like to eat that. Um, so I buy a couple bales here and there of each. Now all these chickens get along really well. One of the black ones there is, is the leader of the group and then Maya right here is kind of, well, she likes to pick on Hope. I've seen her pick on a few of the black ones too, but there is one black one that we have here that is kind of the leader and she stays away from her. But for the most part, they all get along well. They just it, There's a pecking order in every flock of birds, every flock of chickens, where they know who the leader is and they keep each other in line when it comes to eating and things like that. Okay, so you can see chickens are really easy to take care of. They're a little more maintenance than a cat, but a lot less maintenance than a dog. So if you have any questions, put some stuff down in the, in the comments and I'll ask. I'm not a chicken expert, but I've had them for a while where I kind of get a good, I've got a good idea of what to do with them. Now, I do want to tell you that down below in the video, I'll put some links for some, some different coops. You, there's a ton of options on Amazon. You can see here as I'm panning down through them and they're really reasonable. Anywhere between two and $300, you can get yourself a pretty good little coop. Um, a lot of people are getting into this now, so they're making it a lot less exp or a lot less expensive for you to get into chickens with the coop and stuff. So, also, I'm going to show you some of the different foods I use, and, and I'll put links down below for that. And you can also see here, there's like a hundred different places you can get mealworms from off of Amazon. And I would tell you right now that you should check those out because they're a lot 
less expensive on Amazon than what you can find at Walmart or any other place that you might go. Now, if you want to use these links, they are affiliates, but I'm not saying that you need to, or that, you know, you don't have to use them, guys. Go on your own and look. You don't need to use my affiliate links. I'm not just doing this for that, but I will appreciate it very much, and so will my family, if you use my affiliate links. Now, I just want to say that I hope God blesses you. I hope that you have a great day. I hope that God blesses you and your family. And I pray for this in Jesus' name. Hey, my name is Joe Latender. If you have any questions, again, leave them below. Check out the videos that I have on my channel. I have over 100 videos, a lot of flooring videos if you're looking to do any of that. Go check them out. Hit the subscribe button if you liked this video. Like it, please. And hit that bell if you want to be notified. I'm Joe Latender. Thanks for watching.